conspiratorial bets from Hugpong ng Pagbabago claim they won't engage their rivals in mudslinging. One of them, however, says he's taking the alleged black propaganda against him seriously as it could misinform Filipino voters. Manlos Baños tells us more. Several senatorial candidates were invited to the 40th founding anniversary of Aurora. Among them were Aimee Marcos, Bong Rivilla, Jingoy Estrada, Francis Tolentino, and Bato de la Rosa. Re-electionist Senator Sonny Angara was also at the event. He, after all, prides himself as a son of Aurora. The province has been a bailiwick of the Angaras. Senate President Tito Soto, who was the guest of honor, raised the hand of Angara as a show of support to his candidacy. Very, very valuable. Alam mo icon niya, no? so uh, talagang idolo ng masa, so malaking bagay. Ho. The invited senatorial candidates also took the opportunity to woo voters in the province. Candidates Bong Revilla and Jengoy Estrada joked about their detention in connection to the PDAF scam. Weather, weather lang yan. Okay, ito mo yung nagpakulong sa amin? O nasaan? O di nakakulong din sa kapot na ako. Si Bong Revilla ay isang mandirigma. Habang nasasaktan, lalong tumatapang. Habang nadutuguan, lalong lumalaban. At habang... At habang ako'y sinisira nila, lalo lang akong popogingan. Revilla said he remains hopeful even if the President hasn't endorsed him yet. Sinabi naman ng Pangulo, medyo na late na kami nung hiningi yung kanyang endorsement. Malay natin, di ba, magbago pa rin ang isip niya, uh, supportahan pa rin tayo. Aimee Marcos, on the other hand, brushed off accusations being hurled at her family. Talaga naman parang uh, nagbibingi-bingi na lang yung pamilya ko, sanay na kami. Matagal <laughs> na yun eh. Paulit-ulit lang po. But De La Rosa admitted that he's taking seriously all the mud that's being thrown at him. That's why he has been busy clarifying what he described as misinformation about him. Mayroon pa rin misinform na yung ibang alam nila. Si Batoy talagang uh, strict to daw, palaging galit na... Uh, uh, mahilig daw sa patayan, gano'n. Hindi nila alam na yung totoong bato ay talagang malambot ang puso at uh, uh, makadyos. The candidates along with Senate President Soto promised residents that they will all help to further develop the province, especially that an airport and other big-ticket infrastructure projects are in the pipeline. Some of them also expressed support to Hugpong ng Pagbabago leader Sara Duterte if she indeed takes a crack at the presidency in 2022. Reporting for News 5, Me and Los Baños, We Are One News.